This week, we had a SmackDown without Roman Reigns, and boy, it felt weird. Nonetheless, uh, welcome, guys. Uh, you already know we are here to discuss uh, the top five wrestling news to end the week. Uh, so hit those notifications, and let's get into it. Bray Wyatt is officially a free agent with his 90-day non-compete clause being over. So the logical question is, uh, where exactly is he going to show up next? The answer to that question, we don't know just yet, but this week, uh, we we did end up learning of an insane idea for his character which ultimately WWE cancelled. We never got to see it played out. This idea was the introduction of a brand new character, an extra side to the fiend that will ultimately still tie it up to the Firefly Funhouse. Tattoo artist Kyle A. Scarborough is one of the few people responsible for the creation of the fiend's mask. The Firefly Funhouse always portrayed different sides of Bray Wyatt's character character as we got to see including puppets such as Mercy the Buster, Huskers the Big Boy, Abby the Witch, Rambling Rabbit and so on. And it seems like Bray Wyatt had huge plans for the puppets. The tattoo artist took to Twitter and revealed that Bray Wyatt wanted to play the live action roles of the aforementioned puppets. However, the plans were ultimately scrapped by WWE. He tweeted, fun fact, the WWE wanted to bring the Firefly Funhouse alive, but Bray Wyatt would only do it if he played the characters himself. Only one was mocked up, and this would have been the concept for FFH Huskas. It was hinted, but ultimately shelved. Definitely can't blame Bray Wyatt for wanting to do things his own way, instead of handing it over to WWE so that they could do whatever it is that they want to. He ended up sharing this image which looks absolutely insane. Feels like they could just make a whole movie out of it and really goes to show you just how much creative Bray Wyatt is. This also brings up the question will we be able to see any of these extra characters show up elsewhere wherever it is that Bray Wyatt decides to show up next which could be as early as this upcoming week. Moving into some other news and the latest in regards to Charlotte Flair and the Becky Lynch situation which of course has been gaining a lot of attraction online and this week on Smackdown things certainly got that interesting we had charlotte flair mocking the rumors not just on tv but also on twitter tweeting out that she quote unquote heard a rumor and during her smackdown segment she alluded of the fact that something went down after smackdown last week so wwe is adding that fuel to the fire of what happened with having charlotte come out there and acknowledge all of this and also having sasha banks call out charlotte stating the following charlotte you don't care about that woman locker room you only care about holding them down which adds to the rumor of charlotte flair not being a well-liked backstage and a lot of those in the women's division not really wanting to work with her the wrestling observer radio added to this indicating that he on charlotte flair in the women's locker room is uh, for multiple reasons but one of those being is the fact that she is a heel but charlotte flair gets to do crowd pleasing moves like dives and her moon so to the floor and so on which are ultimately seen as making it harder to get over as a baby face when working against her and she is of course allowed to do this because she is in that top position in wwe so it's worth mentioning that in the aftermath of this backstage incident FIFO reports that charlotte flair was removed from all of her media appearances this week of course to avoid the extra drama and her getting asked about what happened because it was going to be a hot topic of this Discussion. Another big highlight that went down on this week's SmackDown, also related to Charlotte Flair, was a heel turn. A Charlotte Flair came out indicating that she wanted some brand new challenge, which led to Shotzi Blackheart coming out, and it all turned into a match. Shotzi had Sasha Banks on her corner, and Sasha Banks was part of the segment. Sasha got involved in the match, more or less trying to help out Blackheart, but it backfired. In the end, Sasha Banks tried to say sorry, but Shotzi Blackheart Blackheart was not having it and it looks like the rumors were true because uh, Shotzi Blackheart indeed had turned heel, attacking
see Sasha Banks and this ultimately kind of serves as a double turn because now Sasha Banks is seen as even more of a baby face even though upon returning she was more or less in between not necessarily a big heel or a big baby face just a very popular superstar in the middle of things now with her being attacked this turn Shotzi Blackheart into a full heel and Sasha Banks into a full baby face which will be convenient as we know Banks is going to be going after that Charlotte Flair championship it's worth mentioning that Tegan Knox, a former tag team partner of Blackheart is said to be a baby face on Monday Night Raw so we'll see if that part of the rumors turn out to be true here's something very strange but at the same time feels like WWE apparently they have a brand new directive from Vince McMahon when it comes to hiring referees according to the Wrestling Observer newsletter Vince wants referee to be shorter to make the talent look taller I will crack up right now but I mean come on this is something that is expected at this point we know that the reporters have to bend down to make the superstars look bigger now they taking that extra step last bit of news for today we had Roman Reigns uh, trending online for being off Smackdown this week but it is worth mentioning that he was at the arena and he appeared after Smackdown fans were obviously disappointed which is why Roman Reigns trended overnight on Twitter Roman Reigns was advertised for the show but he was never officially announced to appear in any match or segment and no specifics why WWE decided not to use him but one reason could be that they were heavily focusing on building up Drew McIntyre to be that next massive challenge for Roman we know that that is the next rumor feud Roman is likely to take on Big E at Survivor Series in a champion versus champion match and after that it's all business of him defending that title on Smackdown Drew McIntyre been doing open challenges so it's clear that that is what they are headed to and reports right now is that Drew McIntyre is gonna keep winning those open challenges until finally after Survivor Series he will probably just come out and challenge Roman Reigns as for what he did as Smackdown went off the air there was a dark main event that took place with Roman Reigns and the Uso squaring off against Drew McIntyre and the Street Profits when the match was taking place Paul Heyman stepped inside the ring as fans in attendance chanted ECW however Paul Heyman's leg got caught in the ropes and then he fell down which according to reports after that the Street Profits were messing around with him leading to Jimmy Uso to make the save and I gotta say Smackdown this week wasn't half bad but it was certainly we are seeing an episode without Roman Reigns when Smackdown was over I thought we were going to commercial because I thought where's the Roman Reigns segment I almost didn't realize that it was the end it just felt weird it felt like something was missing and obviously that something was that Roman Reigns segment even if it was him coming out just saying acknowledge me and then that was it and I'm certainly not the only one who thought that as I did one of the weekly polls and you guys were also questioning where was Roman Reigns anyways guys I thank you for watching if you enjoy or found this informative don't forget to our boy drop it and hit those notifications to as always be up to date I'll catch you on the next one and so stay savage